Hey yo 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 what's going on guys this is your boy Will Fresco and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to farm Master G all right the quickest easiest fastest quickest and fastest is the same thing right yeah anyway yeah the quickest way to farm them I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it we're not going to shoot not one round of ammo and we're going to take this dude out if you played him in any of your playthroughs either UVHM TVHM or normal mode you know that this dude is hard AF all right so I'm going to show you guys exactly how to take him out because he does have a very decent loop pool you know what i mean he does drop seraph crystals seraph weapons including the ahab which is specifically a very rare drop and he does drop legendary weapons so with that out the way and now that we know what we're gonna do let's just jump right into it all right so first things first where do you get this quest this is part of the pirate booty dlc now you're gonna get it from this dude right here i totally forgot his name please don't hate me but the creepy looking dude in um the pirate booty dlc this is where you get the quest from all right once you beat him one time after you're done with the quest you're able to farm him whenever you want now we're gonna head over to haters holly and we're gonna start our farm all right, so once you get to Haters Holly, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies. You're going to have badasses, you're going to have skags, and you're going to have those crystal thingy majigs, whatever the hell they're called. That they, yeah, you know what I mean, the crystal freaking giant turtles. All right, so once you get over here, make sure that the area is clear because you do have skags there and they will mess everything up. While you're doing it, they will hit you in the back. They try to spit at you and stuff. Now, real quick, this is all you need right here. You do need a sticky longbow singularity. It don't got to be sticky. You could get a singularity grenade that has a zero fuse time. The sticky works great. The singularity works great. All right, if you got zero fuse time on it, then it's freaking awesome. I also have a sham because we are going to try to rocket jump out of here. Now, I suck at rocket jumping. You guys are going to see exactly what I mean. All right, so what we're trying to do is first jump to the gate. So like that, you like the closest you could be without actually being in the arena. You don't want to be in the arena yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to, with the singularity grenades, we're going to try to draw him towards us. So we're going to drag him little by little. It's just, um, well, yeah, we got to try to get him to the gate because that's how you're going to gate crush him, right? You can't gate crush if he's not by the gate. So that is exactly what we're trying to do. It does take a couple of tries. I try to get it done in as many grenades as possible. I've noticed that my average is eight grenades. Maybe my, I don't know, my arm is soft. I don't know, but I usually get it in eight tries. Now, once we get it to this point, you're going to throw it up to the gate and he'll be right up against the gate. Now, this is where it becomes tricky because you got to try to time the grenade and you got to hit him at the same time. You know what I mean? So like that, he's drawn back, he becomes animated and then he is squashed by the gate. So rip Master G, all right? He don't look so tough now, you know what I mean? All right, so like I said, he does drop the Seraph crystals and he does drop Seraph weapons. Now, this is, all right, disclaimer, disclaimer. I suck at rocket jumping. So what happens is after you kill him, you're kind of stuck in this arena. You know what I mean? Like there's no way to get out unless you off yourself or unless you rocket jump your ass out of here. And the way we're going to do it is by trying to rocket jump to this little ledge up there. Now, this is how I do it because I suck at it. So I unequip my grenades. I do have um, two bottle booms, which should get me up there theoretically. But like I said, I suck. So what I do is I throw a grenade down and then I rocket jump and I was, God damn it, that was a big fail, all right? But I do have one more grenade left, so <laughs> here we go. All right, so I get up there the second time. Now this is how you're gonna get out of here. Um, once you get up to this ledge, there is a little route that you could head through here. It takes me a little bit to figure it out, but there is a little route. I do get in there, you gotta, it's like a little crevice, you know what I mean? I don't farm him much because I already got what I needed from him, but yeah, I'll finally get out of here, you know what I mean? Like eventually I'll get out of there. You gotta crawl, like you gotta find the exact spot, you know what I mean? But once you get it, you are able to just crawl out of there. And um, once you drop on the other side, um, you'll see what I mean. All right, come on, Fresco, get out of the damn freaking crevice. All right, there we go, I finally found it, it took me forever, but you do get out of there, right? That's how you get out of there. Now, your, all, your other option is to just blow yourself up. The blowing yourself up option is not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Because it will spawn you close to where you need to go to get some more grenades if you want to farm them again. But if you manage to scrounge up some grenades in the boxes around you, then you're able to just go back in right here and then just farm them all over again. Now, if you do decide to off yourself, make sure that you take your shield off and get something that's going to blow you up. You know what I mean? You don't want to fail at blowing yourself up. All right, so once you blow up, what happens is you're going to spawn 
a little bit closer to where the whole Marcus thing is so you could get some more grenades because in order to do this farm you need the max grenades that you can get now if you do got axe then you know that you could carry like five extra grenades so that is very helpful and uh, you can do this with any Vault Hunter. It doesn't have to be Gunzerker. Gunzerker is not the only one that can rocket jump. You can actually rocket jump with the other Vault Hunters as long as you have a Sham and you have a Grog Nozzle because you do want to get the Drunk Effect in order to get the double projectiles so then it could launch you up there. All right. So like I said, it will spawn you back here, which if you don't have grenades, you're going to have to go this route anyway. So don't think that if you can't rocket jump that you failed because you didn't. You got to get head over here anyway. So you might as well blow yourself up. I think blowing yourself up actually works better just because it saves me a little bit of time. But either way, you're going to end up coming back here if you're not able to scavenge up enough grenades to do the farm again. But the farm itself will not take you, it won't take you any time at all. 30 seconds at max, you know what I mean? As long as you do it right, it might take you a couple of tries, but do not get discouraged. Once you get it down packed, this guy becomes so easy to farm. Now, real quick, I want to show you guys what happens when it is not done correctly, right? I got Master G here in all his glory. You know what I'm saying? He actually does look pretty cool. I think I might use it for the thumbnail. It actually looks pretty cool. All right? All right. But this is what happens when you do not do it correctly, all right? You hit him. Oh, the grenades didn't come out. God damn it. All right. Now, guess what? Yeah, you're going to get wrecked, bro. You know what I mean? Like, he's just going to wreck you. It is part of life. Just accept it. Just lay there. Just, yeah, press X. Just, yeah, get it over with. You know what I mean? But again, it's not always pretty. You might fail a couple of times before you actually get it down. Now, if you don't want to actually farm for like, let's say for the Bada Boom or for the Sham in order to rocket jump, what you can do is just join the Discord. I got my Sham off of the Discord and um, you guys can get your items from the Discord if you guys want, all right? So I'll leave the Discord link in the description. So come join the Discord and if you guys are short any items, and you do not want to go through the trouble of farming King Mong or anything like that in order to get these items or the bunker because the bunkers drop on the sham is very shitty. You know what I mean? But if you do not want to go through that trouble, again, just join the Discord. In this run, look, we actually got an Ahab, which is actually pretty cool. So um, again, like I said, this is going to be real quick, real easy. It's a very easy farm. And I hope that this video helps you guys out, all right? So... If this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, then definitely drop a like. And if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with my Borderlands 2 and soon-to-be Borderlands 3 content, then definitely consider subscribing, all right? Anyway, like always, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Aight? Peace.